Hello again everyone. My name is Anna. Today I am so excited because I just came home from my friend's house. So our friend just moved to Las Vegas, Nevada from Boston and he bought a house here in Las Vegas and he is very fortunate because the house that he bought already had a landscape around his house so he has a desert landscape actually and i was so wild when i went to his house he has cactus all over his house cactus agave and all other desert plants and he was very nice um because he knows i love cactus so he said i can take as much cuttings as i want and i did grab the opportunity so I have my loot bag here of cuttings from his yard so let me just show you shadow move <laughs> my dog always wants to be in my videos so let me show you guys what I took from his garden ah okay so so he had lots of apontias in his yard like different kinds so this is one of them i forgot if this is the one with the pink flower i think yeah this is the one with the pink or red flower and i also have look micro daisy i have this in my collection but mine is very small he's got a big one i think he's like his is almost like two three feet high and it has flowers so i took a cutting of his micro daisy this has yellow flowers and um let's see and he has a lot of cholas cholas around or choya but he has the big one i forgot what it's called like a bunny or a teddy bear i think teddy bear choya is what you call this the big ones so i got one two three and four cuttings of the chola and i have another one here oh i got two Two of the giant bunny ears is <laughs> the is the one with the yellow glue kits, and then finally, wow! Look at how big that is. This is probably like ten inches. So he had this in his backyard, and it is tall probably like six seven feet tall okay so this is two so this is the same so that's it these are all the cuttings i got from my friend so i am going to let this callus over so when guys when you take cuttings from um cactus remember you got to let this the end you gotta let it dry and form a callus on top of it and then you are able to after that you can plant them all right guys it has been two weeks since i had these cuttings so they have calloused very well some of them are starting to get dehydrated too fast like this one if you can see it is starting to curl because it's losing water too fast so I have to get these planted right away so as you can see the callus is ow <laughs> so it has formed a hard callus on, at the ends where I did the cut So for the pots that I will be using, these are all recycled pots. So um, these are plastic. I normally don't use plastic. I like using terracotta pots because it's more porous. 
but since I am just going to um, root these cuttings so these are just temporary pots until um, they form roots and once they are rooted I will be moving them to um, the usual terracotta pots and in fact some of them the bigger opontias I plan to uh, plant them in ground in my garden so for the meantime I will be using these pots just to root my cuttings so for my soil mixture um, what I use is I just use a regular cactus soil but I mix it with grit or some um, something that will improve the drainage I live in Nevada I live in Las Vegas Nevada and our weather here it is so dry so when I do my soil mixture I usually use more um what do you call that more soil or more cactus soil than what the others use because i need a little more that will hold moisture otherwise if i use a very gritty mix i find myself watering my cactus practically every day during summer because it gets very very dry in here so what i use is um about 60 to 70 percent cactus soil the regular cactus soil that you can buy in the stores and then i use 30 percent grit 40 to 30 percent grit so i use more cactus soil than grit so for the um grit part of my cactus soil i use i usually use perlite because it is cheap and readily available in my area so for those of you who don't know how perlite looks like it's this little white stuff that's usually mixed in the cactus soil so if you buy cactus soil you see some white little things in it so that's perlite so it helps in soil aeration and then i also mix it with if i have sand like coarse sand i'd mix sand in this mixture but it's not easy to find the coarse sand in my area so i use either perlite or I have a bag of this pea pebbles so it's used for extra drainage in the soil so I also put some of this in my mix of cactus soil so again I use about 60 to 70 percent cactus regular cactus soil mix and then 30 to 40 percent um, grit but if you live in a more humid area you might want to put a little more grit than the cactus soil mix just because your soil will be holding a lot more moisture than if you are living in a desert like I do so let's start potting up but when you are planting a pond here guys make sure uh, make sure you plant it a little deeper because a pond here they grow roots right at the bottom where you made the cut as well as on the aerials around around it so where the thorns come out off those are aerials so the roots will also be coming out on the sides from the aerials so if i plant this oh gosh this this bat is heavy um when i plant this i would usually plant it like this deep so aside from the tip there's some aerials also that are under the ground so I will put two both pads in one pot I think the pot is big enough to hold them both. Just give it a light tap. So when you are dealing with cactus, 
batons. This is my favorite tool. And also gloves. As you can see, excuse my gloves. This is very old. But I like the ones, the old gloves where the this part already hardened because hear that? At least it gives me my hand more protection against the thorns. So even though this glove is so old, I like it because the the um, leather part has already hardened. But like I said, since this Apontia pads are big and heavy, I think I'll put some rocks around it just to stabilize it. So I'll do this teddy bear. I think this is a teddy bear chola. So I'll do this one. Cholas, based on my experience, they take a long time to form roots I have another chola um, I got it as a cutting a smaller version of this it's not a teddy bear chola I think the pencil chola I'm not sure but it's a thinner version and I root I had it for six months before it finally formed roots. Okay, that's good. I actually have four cuttings of this, but you pretty much get the idea, so... I will just be placing each cutting, one, one cutting in each pot. And so this is the chol, uh, my other chola that I was telling you about that I rooted for six months. So it took me six months before it finally formed new growths on top. So as you can see, it is um, thinner than this one okay so now we will move on to these two Apontia pads um, I don't know what they are but look at those thorns whoa okay so for this I think I'll put them both in one pot and whenever I have a pot that's, that has big holes so I use a screen. This is just a regular screen or you can use any mesh that you have just to put under the pot to block the holes to keep the dirt or the soil from coming out underneath when you water your plants. This one actually has a flower bud but I don't know if it will still open. So again, when you're planting up on your pads, make sure you um, stick it deep enough such that some of the aerials underneath are under the soil because the roots will form out from the aerials as well. Uh, 
I think this is better. So that will help it to keep the Aponte pads upright. So when you water them or when it's windy like it is today, they don't get knocked down. Oh, and you know, one more thing I forgot to tell you when I use grit, I also like to use pumice. Um, it is a little expensive in my area, so I kind of use it sparingly, but this is pumice. So it is um, natural vulca volcanic rock. So I like using this instead of a perlite, although, like I said, this is more expensive. But for me, I'd rather use this because um, this one has more weight than pumice so it doesn't um, float on top when you water your cactus or your plant like pumice does, uh, like perlite does. And also it's a little heavier because I need weights in my soil because our summer here is very windy and even though I use terracotta pots, they're already heavy. The wind still knocks them down. So I like using pumice in the mix, my cactus mix, because they add more weight to my pot. But like I said, they're a little more expensive. So I kind of just save them for my more expensive cactus. <laughs> but for Apontia, they're actually very easy to um to take care of or to grow so i just use my pea pebbles or regular small rocks and perlite when i plant a pontius So there you have it everyone all my cuttings are all potted up so these are the cuttings that I got from my friend so he has a very nice desert um, backyard with all cacti planted behind it so he was very kind enough to give me some cuttings so um normally you can actually or I can actually water these right away because my soil is dry and um the it the cacti have cacti pads or the cuttings have already formed a hard callus but since it's getting nighttime um i would postpone watering it until maybe tomorrow morning and then i will be placing this in a um, lightly shaded area or um, maybe some morning sun is good but not full sun until i see some like growth on them like for this apontia pods i'm expecting it to form another pad on top and that's how i know that they have formed their roots all right guys so thank you for watching for all those who have subscribed to my channel thank you so much for those who haven't subscribed if you want to know more about desert plants succulents cactus please please click the subscribe button and hit the bell notification to know when i upload new videos so until my next video guys bye and cheers